Hello money makers. Welcome to another weekly market update. Starting the week on Tuesday is Chairman Powell's Congress testimony. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell is to testify on the central bank's semi-annual monetary policy report before Congress on Tuesday and Wednesday. Investors will be on the lookout for any further indication of the Fed's view on the economy and more clarity on its bond buying and lending programs. Last week the Fed indicated that it plans years of extraordinary support for an economy facing a long hard recovery from the coronavirus pandemic, with policymakers projecting the economy to shrink 6.5% in 2020 and the unemployment rate to be 9.3% at year's end. Following the Fed we also have in the US this week. US retail sales and jobless claims data. US retail sales data for May is due out on Tuesday with investors on the watch for signs of an economy on the mend. April retail sales plunged a record 16.4% but hopefully that was the nadir and economists are forecasting an 8% rebound amid the ending of lockdowns across many states. The latest initial jobless claims report will be released on Thursday. Jobless claims totaled 1.5 million last week, marking the 10th consecutive weekly decline as hiring slowly returns. While claims have slowed, the unemployment rate, currently at 13.3% remains at historic levels. Rounding off the week is the UK where, our final update is Bank of England to expand stimulus measures. All central banks are fighting the economic fallout from the coronavirus pandemic, but the Bank of England also has Brexit to contend with. April's 20% GDP slump leaves Britain's economy the same size as in 2002, this year could bring the biggest contraction in 300 years. The Bank of England is expected to give itself another £150 billion in firepower at its Thursday meeting, adding to the expansion announced in March and some analysts reckon it could even stretch to £200 billion. The current rate of buying looks set to hit the limit over the next couple of months and an increase would help avoid premature discussion about ending the policy or of tapering. The UK is also to release data on unemployment, inflation, retail sales and house price inflation during the week. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for regular updates. Only on Capital Street FX.